Hey guys, welcome to the latest vlog. I hope you're well, I hope you're safe, I hope you are dealing with every emotion, level of anxiety, fear, frustration, whatever comes your way. Um, take control of, 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 of those emotions and those thoughts and, 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 and try and process them the best way possible. Uh, I would like to pick up from my last vlog where I spoke about the high rate of gender-based violence in general that happened before COVID um, was, was, became a global e epidemic. And if we look at our numbers now, the fact that the level of gender-based violence and violence in homes is still high, if not increasing. So our Minister of Police issued a statement with a high number and it's come back to say that that statement was incorrect and I'm not going to get into the intricacies of that, but what we have found um, over the years is that yes, we get numbers of, of, of cases reported uh, through police stations and so forth, but remember those numbers don't really reflect what's happening in reality. In reality, there are still people who do not report crimes, who are fearful to go and report crimes. Uh, we also know for a fact that certain police stations are notorious for, um, I suppose, taking the law into their own hands and either convincing people to drop cases or, or acting as mediators and counsellors and so, so cases aren't put onto the roll. So, in terms of the numbers, nobody really knows the exact number of or the rate of what gender-based violence is, is in South Africa, but we know that it is incredibly, incredibly, incredibly high. As I've mentioned so many times before, uh, we've been in a crisis for a long time, prior to COVID-19, and now because people are, which we need, we need the isolation and we need people to stay at home, but it also forced people to stay locked 24 seven with their perpetrators. And so uh, through this, there are many organizations that have remained open. Uh, you know, we have the Department of Social Development Command Center, which is a nationwide number, which uh, is the number that's on your screen. And of course it's on all my social media platforms. Uh, it's 0800 428 428. Uh, you can contact them, there's a social worker 24-7, uh, and basically if you need assistance or you know of anybody, I will also be putting up a list of other organisations, there's the Rape Crisis Centre that's in Cape Town. Uh, please note that all the Tutuzela care centres are open, that is, uh, those are care centres which have been opened by the South African Government which aid in counselling, aid in um, assistance for, for survivors and for victims and so forth. And obviously because of, of, of the lockdown, everything is done online or it's done on telephone. Uh, there is, of course, also a number if you want to send it, please call me. But we also just need to, to also be vigilant and if you do know, of, because remember in circumstances where somebody is, has been in an abusive relationship, the perpetrator has taken control of their life. And when I say their life, it's that access to a telephone, um, will read through certain messages, um, and so that person might not have the opportunity of actually calling out for help. Um, so if you do know of, or you hear, you know, we become a society where people always turn a blind eye, this isn't the time for it. Um, report it, make a citizen's arrest, make a citizen's complaint, um, either to the police, contact one of the, the NGOs or social workers that, and the numbers that are at the end of this vlog, but we need to really take heed and notice and know that, uh, the situation is, is, is quite serious. And for my, for my warriors across the continent, we know that you know, um, domestic violence and violence and rape has no color, it has no jurisdiction, it has no demographic whatsoever. And 
South, as, as a South African, we know that we also speak from a place of privilege where although we still complain about a lot of our laws because they're just practical in paper, we are still more privileged than other territories. And so we're going to be having um, a discussion on Friday. We're going to be having a webinar uh, under through the, the total shutdown movement and speaking to warriors and activists and feminists from across the continent um, who represent women, who represent um, the LGBTQI community, uh, who represent gender non-conforming community, uh, just to see where we are, how we're doing, what our coping mechanisms are. Uh, and, and, you know, we can't, we can't provide the physical assistance like we could in the past, but for now we can do what we can online. We can do what we can digitally. But for one thing is that we need to be a lot more collective because although many of our territories are in lockdown, our voices aren't. And so now is the time where we need to find where we need to make noise um, in territories or communities where people aren't being heard. Uh, as I said, you know, gender-based violence, it's, it's, it's been, we've been in a crisis for many, many years and, and, and our demands still haven't been heard, but that doesn't mean that we're going to be quiet. That doesn't mean that we're going to stop. That doesn't mean that we're going to be calling you out. doesn't mean that we're not going to be standing up for what we know is rights and also deb demanding what our rights are. So I've reached out to, to my Pan-African community. If I haven't touched base with you, I'm sorry. Um, send me a message. Um, we're not going to be publishing the link of the webinar um, publicly, so you have to be in our database in order to, for us to, 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 to send you the invite. And uh, yeah, if you have an organization that, that does need a little bit of for us to have somebody to create awareness about or put pressure on in terms of rights not being heard and so forth. Uh, what we can offer now are our voices and, and our presence on, on, online and of course in the digi digital space. So yeah, leave a message on, on, on this platform wherever you're reading and wherever you're watching it. But uh, also be gentle on you. You know, some days are low days. Some days we just cry, some days I can't get out of bed, some days I'm great and I'm doing exercise and, and moving and working and trying to find other ways to create revenue. And how I've been dealing is that I just deal with whatever emotion comes my way. As difficult as it is, because we all are worried, we are all in the same space. Um, you know, uh, and, and, and we don't know how we're going to get through this, but we will. But more importantly, we still need to have that solidarity and collectiveness within the space of, of GBV, within the space of supporting the LGBTQI community, um, not just in Africa, but globally. But uh, let's see how we're coping. Let's check on our, our, on our, on our communities, check on your strongest friends too. Um, and yeah, let's, let's, let's keep the conversation going. And as I said before, we may be on lockdown, but our voices are not on lockdown. Thanks for listening, guys.